I love all of the patterns in our Easy Does It book. We got brand new fabrics in. Let's make all of the quilts from Easy Does It. Keep watching. Hi, it's Fran Morgan. And Donna Robertson with Fabric Cafe. And sometimes we have customer comments that request certain quilts. Like Diane and Heidi both said that Time Machine was one of their favorites and they wanted to see it more. So we are going to do all of the quilt patterns from the Easy Does It book. And if you've got something wonderful you wanna see, let us know. So let's jump in and start with our first quilt. So our first quilt here is Art Deco. And is this not a stunner? Now what's really exciting is every quilt you're gonna to see today on the video, we have quilt kits for. So these gorgeous batiks are available to you. Let's put it on the table and check it out. So love it. isn't this just gorgeous? The vibrancy and the jewel tones of this is just so eye-catching and it yummy. Is. So we have this gorgeous orange batik, and this kind of looks like little rosettes on here, I think. It I does. Think it's kind of cool. And this is our focus fabric, and it's gonna go in the background of one of our blocks here, so every other block will have that. And then our number two fabric is this great raspberry. Now this fabric picks up all of the raspberry and the purples here, mm -hmm. and it is gonna be our alternate block background. Mm -hmm. And then our number three is this great, great kind of, I don't know, teal, green, jewel tone yumminess. This one also has it and it goes on the border and it great makes such a great diamond in the center of our block. Now let's get our cropping tool so that we can okay. see how this block is put together because it's actually incredibly easy. So basically we have the big block here that you see is actually made with four smaller blocks. Correct. So we're just going to be making this over and over again. And as you can see, whoop, let me do it. Let me do it this way. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> there we go. And you can see that all we've done is sewn a triangle onto the corner of the square. And it's so, so simple to do. So you're just going to repeat that process over and over again in the two different colorways put it together and you're gonna get the stunner of a quilt that this is here. You know, one of the things that I'm thinking while you're showing this, mm -hmm. because uh, both of us love decorating, but you know, we've had such muted colors and monotone mm -hmm. and now the color's starting to come back. And do you know how inexpensive it is to just make a brand new lap quilt for your sofa? Oh yes. And it'll be gorgeous and really liven up your decor. I absolutely agree. So let's get the kit information on this quilt. It is called Carnival Row and the number is 8022573. That pattern is Art Deco and of course it is from our Easy Does It book and if you're getting just the kit, the single kit, then you can take the pattern Dominique free or buy three kits and you can take the Easy Does It book for free. Up next is one that I really enjoy. It's called Best Friends. Now, if you have a little more subdued uh, decor that you would like to have something that's just warm and cozy and cuddly and homey, this is the one. And your best friend would enjoy it as well. Let's put it on the table. So I love, love, love blues and greens. Oh, I do too. And this I, is such a great combination. Mm -hmm. It is gorgeous. And as usual, we've made a pretty simple quilt here for you. All of our patterns are so easy to follow and you just need to follow the rule of thumb of picking out your fabric to get started. You, so you pick which one you want to be the focus fabric. The focus fabric is the one that you like best, that you want to see, and often it is the larger print. But you can put any one of our fabrics in any position just because there's the same amount of fabric being used. So we're gonna put this in the number one spot. It's going to go here, 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 and here. So it really scatters the color out. And that's one of the things I love about quilting is you can get that balance of color in your quilt. Now that is your number one or your focus. You take it out of the equation and then you look at the next two uh, colors. You pick out the lightest one for your number two and the darkest for number three. That again is very subjective. You get to pick which one you like best. Put the number two in the number two spot on the pattern and it's very clearly spelled out for you where that number two goes. And then the number three will be in the remaining areas, the binding and uh, the background of the Friendship Star. And I just love this because it really, the blue and the green so perfectly coordinates with your focus fabric and it's great. Mm -hmm. So really, really love that. Now, a little tip too is we actually offer 
fabric by the yard on our website. So be sure and check that out because one of the great ways to use the fabric by the yard is by adding a border. And if you go to our free goodies tab on our website, you can download instructions on how to add an extra border on your quilt just to make it a little bigger if you want to. So it's a great That's way to great. Use. And we have all three of these online so we you do. can pick what you want your extra border to be. Perfect. That is awesome. Okay, this one is called Nantucket Summer 8022574. The pattern is from the Easy Does It book, Best Friends. An alternate pattern is Friendship Star, and um, you'll be able to get the kit and that pattern free, or like Fran said, buy three kits and you can get the book free. Our next quilt is called County Fair, and I love this fabric and this quilt pattern because to me, it looks like the county fair, all the bright colors, all the pinwheel swirling. It's just fun on a quilt right here. So let's check out that quilt kit. When you say that, it reminds me of like the, the uh, Ferris wheel yes. and the way they put all those lights on the Ferris wheel and, and make the different patterns. You know, whenever I was young and we got to go to the fair and it's like, it's almost like Christmas, you know, because you get all the sparkly lights yeah. and all the excitement and the fun fair food and the, <laughs> the cotton candy. And this just makes, it has that essence and that feel to it. And I love it. Do you know what would be really fun? If you go to the fair, why don't you tell us, do you prefer all of the beautiful lights and sounds or do you like the street food is what oh, we call it. Street food, <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, I think it changes as you get older too. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so this is such fun fabric. All of these bright jewel tone colors all put together, just gorgeous. And it'll be in our number one position, which is our main block here. And then we have a great yellow that coordinates perfectly. And I love this because it has a lot of movement in it, even though it's kind of a tone on tone print. Yes. Still has tons of movement. Love that. Now that'll be our background on our pinwheels and on our border and binding. And then the red, same print with all that movement, coordinates perfectly. And it will also be in our pinwheel and on our border. So just so much fun and just makes me think of all of that fun fair stuff. So here is our kit information. It is called Groovin and the number is 8022575. Pattern is County Fair from Easy Does It. And the alternate pattern is Pinwheel Plus One. The next one that we have is Farmhouse Chic. And this one is just such a sweet, sweet quilt. And it goes together very quickly like all of our patterns do. But this one has that little touch of romance to it. Let's put this up on the table. I love all the ways that greens are coming back yes. in and the way they're using the greens. Uh, I think I'll always kind of lean toward blue, but I love green as well. They look great together. <laughs> they do. And I love it when you're coordinating. One of the things that you can do, pick that focus fabric out that you like. That's going to go in the number one spot on the pattern, which you can see here. The number two fabric, so we've taken this out of the equation, but we picked the lightest for number two, but look how we've managed to pick up both the green to match the leaves and then the pink to match yeah, the flowers. Love it. So that makes those coordinate really well. And then the third one that you're going to be picking is your number three, and look how that really makes the green pop it's here. Great. It's great. I love how all of these fabrics for me evoke a little bit of an emotional response because like the county fair mm -hmm. and now this one just makes me think of spring spring days on the porch oh and yeah it's just so yeah. sweet so uh, this one is called homespun florals farmhouse chic is the pattern from easy does it it's eight zero two two five seven six and the alternate pattern is pretty please our next quilt is called harmony and this one is great. We've got these rich blues and greens again, which are just great. A fun snowball and then a rectangular block. Let's put that on the table and check out the fabric. Now these daylilies are gorgeous and they kind of have that, a little bit of that watercolor look with the outline, which I just think is beautiful. And of course it's highlighted perfectly in our snowball block right mm -hmm. here. Just love it. Now our number two fabric is the green. And once again, we have just perfect coordinates here. And it will go, now this is a little piece here on the side of this, and then on our triangles. And that is what gives it that great kind of vertical line. And it'll be in the background here. And then our number three is the blue. And you can see it has just a little touches of green on that as well, which really looks great. And I love that it's 
a little bit of a directional fabric, but you see how great it is mm -hmm. on the border. Mm -hmm. So it works perfectly in this pattern. And then in our alternate block here. So lots of fun here. You know, I remember when we first made this quilt, it was a much more, um, much more kind of modern art looking mm -hmm. fabrics that we used. And so I'm curious to know, have you ever made a quilt from one of, from the Easy this, Does It Book? Mm -hmm. yeah. And if you have, what kind of fabrics did you use? Did you like the bright colors and which one of your patterns are your favorite? We love, love, love talking to our uh, viewers and we hope that you will communicate with us and let us know some of your favorites. Yes, we love to hear. And you know, I tend to gravitate to always quilt with the same color. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm always going to the same colors over and over again. Do you have a favorite color that you tend to gravitate towards whenever you quilt? I'd love to hear that too. Oh, we have lots of things to talk oh, to you about today. so much fun. Well, we're all family here and we all love to share our ideas and I think it's Absolutely. great that all of you really do visit with us and we do appreciate it so much. Let's get the kit information on Harmony here. Our kit is called Carolina Lilies and the number is 8022577. And the alternate pattern is, it's a snap. Now this one is a fun one. It's called Lightning. And we've done it in all different colors, but I love it in the batiks. It's really fun. And let's put it on the table and show you how easy it is to make this particular quilt. Um, I'm, I'm always reminiscing about when I was afraid of batiks. I just would look at batiks and I wouldn't know what I was supposed to do with them. And pretty soon you just get to the point where you put things together. And I rarely ever find a batik that doesn't go well with another one and I love the contrast in this particular one. Now gorgeous. I wanted to show you how easy this quilt is to make. It looks like it's going to be a hard one but it is not. You are going to do strip piecing and then you're going to cut a block like this. You'll use these two colors oh. and look how easy that block is. It is <laughs> can't get much simpler than that. No. <laughs> strip piecing Cut, cut the block. Block is finished. Oh, that's awesome. And then you do the same thing with, whoops, the other two colors. So we're going to do our strip piecing. Oh. And then it's just turned. So it's super easy to do. And then it's yes. just like putting puzzle pieces together, but they're super simple puzzle pieces yeah. as well. And this would be a fun one for a beginner, I think, a beginner quilter, because it is mm -hmm. so, so easy to put together. Either that or whenever you're daughter comes home and says, you know, so-and-so's having a baby and we have a shower. Will you make a quilt? Sure. When do you need it? Saturday. <laughs> <laughs> How many of you have ever had that happen? <laughs> really? <laughs> okay, this is going to be our number one fabric and uh, it's going to go in both the border and in this section of the quilt. Now the background on this is going to be your light blue and you probably noticed that each block has the light blue in it. Yes. So Each we've fabric. we've put yes, and so we've put the these two together, and then the number three fabric we put these two together. Love it. So it's super easy to put together. It's that fast quilt. It's that first quilt. So you get to choose, and this one is called Tropical Bouquet eight zero two two five seven eight. Lightning is the pattern from Easy Does It. And if you need an alternate pattern, it would be jigsaw. Our next quilt pattern is Overnight Sensation. Now this is another super, super fast one to put together. Charming, sweet fabric. Let's check it out. Talk about sweet. Oh, and here you go. You were just mentioning baby quilts. This would be an <laughs> easy one to put together in a heartbeat for a little one. Mm -hmm. And I just love it. It is so sweet. We've got these really, the flowers are great because they almost look like they're on there and then they're echoed by the little outline, which oh, I really kind yeah. of like. And then the little happy bee. How can you not just love that? Mm -hmm. And of course, that's our focus fabric going in one of our larger blocks here. And then our number two fabric is this fun yellow. And it picks up the gold. It's kind of a gold yellow, I would say. It's not a bright, bright yellow. It's yeah. a very nice, warm yellow. Picks up all the flowers. And of course, it's going to be your sashing here in the border. And then our number three fabric is the green, picking up Love the it. leaf pattern just perfectly. And of course, also the alternate block and on the border. It's so, so sweet. So sweet. I just love it. And this kit information is called Be Happy. And the number is 8022579. It is our overnight sensation pattern from the book Easy Does It. And we're recommending Topsy Turvy. 
as the alternate. Now, just to kind of throw in there too, this is another one that we have fabric by the yard oh, available okay. on our website. Mm -hmm. So be sure and go check that out as well. Now this one is called Time Machine. Remember at the first of the show, we told you that Diane and Heidi wanted to see Time Machine? Well, here it is made with brand new colors. Let's put that up on the table. And to me, this is very nostalgic, very kind of has that 50s yes. vibe. Yes, it is yeah. very vintagey feeling. Very much so. And I can remember uh, we went over to my mother's, one of her friends one time, and she had a dark blue tablecloth, oil cloth, oil cloth, wow. <laughs> on her uh, table. So I, that really brings back memories for me. Why don't you hand me the cropping tool oh, and yes. I'll show them how easy it is to make this because this is another one where you're going to have a super easy block. It looks pretty complicated, but if you like lots of piecing, this is a fun one to do. So you've got a simple block like this for one block. And then the other blocks, we are going to make small blocks like so. See the half square triangles, uh -huh. simple, simple, simple. And then you put four of those half square triangles together here to make the points on the That's bigger great. blocks. Yeah. Isn't that cool? Very simple. Yeah, I like that. Deceivingly easy. <laughs> yes. So this is our focus fabric, our number one. It's going to go here. Then that wonderful magical number two is going to set off that block. You like lots of high contrast in these because even the number three fabric is going to be contrasting with this one very well. So in this case, we actually put the darkest fabric in the number one spot and then we use the other two to highlight it. It's, Love it. I think it's so fun the way that, that the three yard quilts can change up. You could just as easily use a lighter fabric in the number one mm -hmm. spot and go darker with your twos and threes. Absolutely. This one's called uh, One Fine Day, and we do have extra fabric available by the yard, so if you want to add borders to it, you can. It's called One Fine Day, 8022580. Time Machine is your pattern, and an alternate is Tumbling Triangles. Now, I loved that we were able to show Time Machine in this video, because mm -hmm. I know it's one of the favorites of so many. And so we want to know what you would like to see. Do you have a favorite book that you would like for us to do a review? We love doing the book reviews with new fabric. It's just so much fun. So it's Fran Morgan and Donna Robertson. Thanks for joining us.